Hi guys and welcome to another EB6 video. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. But if you're new, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. I posted a video about the Kia EB6 having the speed camera alert feature, which I discovered under the subscriptions page of the Kia Connect app. Well, whether it's the app or you log in on the desktop site, it's the same thing. But I wasn't getting those alerts, so I made a video and asked people if they were, and people were kind enough to let me know in the comments section that they were. Now, since it is a subscription-based service or feature, I did ended up contacting Kia Connect. And this is how the events unfolded. My first call, uh, the representative I got, without even trying to help me just transferred me over to a dealer so obviously i hung up called back so the second representative i got asked me if the feature wasn't working because maybe i wasn't going fast enough and that it required a certain speed for it to work so obviously that didn't work so i called in the third time and then the person I got, I told them not to transfer me over because this is not something that the dealers would work with because they barely know anything. And it's a Kia Connect related issue, so there's definitely nothing they can do. And this time around, the person was helpful enough, created a ticket for me. And within a few hours, I got a call back saying that uh, they have activated traffic services for me, which is interesting because I was already getting traffic data in the infotainment system. So maybe they reset it. So I took the car out for a spin to try it out. And yes, the feature now works. I'm gonna show you where to find the settings and then we'll go out again and I'll show you how it works. From the infotainment system, tap setup and then this search icon and then type cam. And the first hit you get is camera alert distance. And as you can see, by default, it says camera alert distance depending on the speed limit. Now, if you disable this, you get two more options and you can configure separately for the local roads and the highway or the freeway for Americans. Now, I'm just going to leave it at the default setting. I posted a video showing that you only get visual alerts and not audible alerts for red light cameras, which I have now removed from YouTube because I realized why that was not happening. So on your infotainment system, when you're on the map, you see this little speaker right here. Uh, it's an icon that says nav and speaker. You tap that and you'll see two volume controls. One says voice and one says sound effect. And they're both on zero, as you can see. And that's why I wasn't getting any audible alerts. Voice is the text-to-speech guidance you get while driving using the car's navigation system and not Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And the sound effect is alerts. Now, I tried it with and without the voice, and here's the difference. If you keep the voice down to zero or even uh, mute it, so you don't really have to drag it down to zero. You could have your volume control to, let's say, 10, and if you want guidance to disable... At this volume. And if you want it disabled, all you have to do is just tap this icon here and it will mute it. Same for sound effect. You can just mute it right here. So now I tried it by disabling the voice and keeping the sound effect on only. And this is what happened. So uh, you will get the visual alert here where you can see the traffic sign recognition. Also here in the instrument cluster and also in the head-up display. Now, because of the angle of the camera, you'll only be able to see it here, not here, and definitely not in the head-up display. Now we're gonna drive by again the same red light camera with the voice and sound effect both enabled. In 500 meters, traffic light camera ahead. So you heard the audible alert by voice instead of that 
ding. And then there's also this visual alert telling you there's a traffic light camera ahead along with the distance to the camera. And there you have it. Now you know how to fix if you're not getting the red light or the speed light camera alerts at all and how to fix the issue of getting only visual alerts and not audible alerts. As you witnessed, it was a red light camera, not a speed camera. So the description under the Kia Connect subscription is inaccurate. It says speed camera alerts. So it should say speed camera and traffic light camera alerts because people have reported uh, that speed camera alerts also work. So it actually works for both, which is great. Uh, they just need to work on their description. So if your feature is not working, all you have to do is contact the Kia Connect customer service and it should work. I hope you found the video useful. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and thank you for watching.